Hello, Quant viewers. I am Austin, and I am here with another update for one of our Quant View Ninja Trader Toolkit strategies. This one is for the QGrid Bank strategy or Auto Banksy. So, what we've done is there's a hot fix inside of this for the Q Cloud not lining up with the indicator Q Cloud. And then there's also a major update for on tick exits. And I'm gonna to explain to you what all of that is now. So we're gonna switch over to my screen. And I have a blank Renko chart. This is a 40 Renko or a 10 box if you're in trading view. So as always, starting with the blank slate so we can add in our strategy. And to do that, we're gonna click the strategy button here. It's gonna pop open our window. And we're gonna to go to the QGrid Banksy Strat and I'm gonna double click on that. It's gonna pop it down into that configured. So this one is version 1.2. So this is a major update. So changes on here that you can see, well, the only change that you can see is we've added this on tick exits. Now I've made this an option because this adds in another time series into the strategy and it can be kind of resource intensive based on how many bars you have on your screen. So let's set this up. I'm gonna set this up like I normally do, like I'm running. I'm gonna do version one because I this has a very good exit point where we can see what's happening. This is from Friday, uh, June 28th. So I'm gonna do, since I'm running this as on a tin box, I'm going to change my ATM to tin box trail only. And I typically run version one with pullback before re-entry and then re-entry follow pullback. All right, so the only other thing that we need to change for my version one is I make this this way. So 29, 39, 59, 69, 79, and 129. And we can put our plot limit lights and plot limit lines in there. That helps us out. We can actually see the lines. Playback 101, because we're on playback pay back play back. And then I'm gonna enable it. Let's go back through just to make everything make sure everything is right. And I agree with that. So I'm gonna pop that in there. And it takes a minute to load because it's looking at the, the tick data there. Um, so let's add in the indicator Q cloud with the same settings. So I clicked on the indicator button. I'm gonna go down to my cues because where all of our cool Q grid or quant view stuff is. So we're gonna double click Q cloud. Make sure you go and watch the video for 1.4 show you all the updates on that and how to use those tools. So I'm gonna put in the same numbers on here and I'm gonna hit okay. And it's just gonna make those lines bolder. So now if we zoom in here, we can see that there is now not a one bar delay in the Q cloud. So that bug has been fixed. That was relatively easy to fix once I found it. So thank you for the member that pointed that out. That is a fantastic fix. All right, so I'm gonna remove that to not kill our resources. And I'm gonna go ahead and start this script. Okay, so I said that this script is a little bit more resource intensive. So how do you help that? So one thing that I do with my scripts is if you go up to the data series, you click on that box and this is going to show you all of your settings for your data series. So this is where you select if you want Rinko, Q Rinko, Better Rinko, one minute bars, whatever you want. So I have Rinko 40, 10 box. And then in this time frame, I changed this bars to load to 500. Normally it's three days. Um, I think that's the default 24, default 24 seven is how I run my stuff. So it takes all ticks into account. Um, so we're limiting this to 500 bars so it doesn't have to process as much information going back. If you have this on 10 days, 20 days, something like that, something crazy like that, it's gonna take a while to calculate everything. So I'm gonna limit that. So now with a 10 box, 
you're still going to get four, three, four days with 500 bars. Uh, it is what it is. So if you run this on five bucks, it's going to limit it a little bit better. All right, so let's start this up. So I know that there is a trade at 10 o'clock because I posted this profit target hit in the Discord profits and wins. So I'm going to start this. We're going to get a trade at right at 10 o'clock. So I'm going to speed up and then I'm going to slow down so we get our correct entry. Should be 10.01. There we go. Okay, so we popped in. So as you can see down in our little diagnostic box here, you can see these numbers are updating much quicker. So before this script relied on the bar close to calculate uh, the profits. So now we're running that on a tick data series. So you get much, much higher resolution on your profits and targets. It doesn't change anything with the rest of the script. Still want the rest of the script to run on that bar close so it actually follows the correct uh, strategy. So, all right, so now we've got a, a limit line here. This is our profit target, this green line. And you can see our max profit is at 380. So we set 500, so whenever it hits 500, it will get us out of here. So I'm gonna zo uh, zoom us through a little bit I know where this is going to come out because I've run this three times now before this video just to make sure. So we're gonna pop out at about 10.03, right at 10.04. So we're at 10.02. And I keep going here. I'm gonna bump us up to six. Maybe I can stop it before. We're gonna keep going here. All right, so we're now at 10.03. You see our highest is 390 now, and I'm going to slow us down so we can get our tick exit. We're just going to see it pop up just over this line. It's going to close our bar here, and now it's going to pop up, and it's going to kick us out. All right, so there. Now we've, we've been kicked out in the middle of a bar. So this new calculation, this new way that this script will allow you to exit from your trades will help you hit your profit targets at a finer resolution. So now there's no more, oh, it went over my profit target, but it didn't close the bar and didn't kick me out. So now this is truly a set up your automation, let it run, and if it goes over your profit target, even for a tick, it will kick you out and it will secure your profit for the rest of the day. So. You'll see we've we've hit our okay to trade is now false so this script will not trade anymore we have hit our profit target so that that helps us out a ton so now going forward our forward testing will show every time our profit target has been hit whether it closes the bar or not so if you are not a member of QuantView and you would like to try out the auto banksy script for ninja trader you can sign up for a month of elite and if you are not satisfied before your 30 days are up, you can ask for a refund with no questions asked. So if you are a QuantView member, make sure that you go and get this update and you um, start using this because this is going to help you out a ton. All right. I'm Austin. I'm out of here. See ya.